reminded me of recording the video. I always forget about it. <laughs> okay. So this camera, which is on my right side, it's a design, right? Mm -hmm. The headphone I'm wearing right now, it's a design. Yes. But wearing it makes me feel like I'm on a leash. I can't even move. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like that. <laughs> I'm on a leash. Yes, literally. I can't even move. If I move, it's like we'll get stuck. Yeah. Very bad design. Yeah. So yes, give me some examples. Look around. Look at what you are wearing. Look at your chain. Look at your bracelet. Look at your watch, earring, the hair tie you are wearing, even the lingerie your bra, your panties, all these are <laughs> designs. You don't have to be shy about that. Once I was really shy, but now I don't care. <laughs> My mom used to say, she not used to, she says that I'm such a shameless person. Yes, and I don't care, I know I'm. <laughs> So once you are a design student, once you get into the field of designing, you will experience a lot of things. Your attitude itself changes. Your attitude will be entirely different from all others. Whoever is pursuing physics, maths, English, whatever it is, your attitude will be entirely different as a design student. You will get to see this world under an entirely different light. Yes, just look around. Yes, Nehal, just look around. Tell me what all you can see. Look around, guys. <laughs> yes, the blind. The drawing behind you, Adra. Why is it there? <laughs> is it a tree or something? Yes, ma'am, it's a tree. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. So what is it behind you, Gaia? Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse? What is it? Mickey like Mouse, Mickey Mouse. I just I can just see the legs. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So what about you, Nehal? What is there behind you, beside you? She's stuck. Gone now. <laughs> Okay. Nehal, anything interesting there? No. Why? Why the wall is painted yellow? I want to know. <laughs> that is a design. <laughs> I want to know why your wall is yellow. Okay. Does it disturb you? Just try to look, stare at your wall for um, 10 seconds straight. Try to stare at it and tell me what you feel. <laughs> look at, stare at that bright wall, bright yellow wall of yours for 10 or 20 seconds straight and just let me know what you feel. Okay. Yes, unless. What about the konda, that thing that you are wearing? How do you feel about it? Is it a good design or bad design? <laughs> good, okay. So what do you feel about it? The chair you are sitting on. Yes, Nehal? <laughs> yes, Sanjana, what about your, the double decker bed behind you? It's a bed, right? Yes. Okay. So what do you think about it? Is it a good design or a bad? The bed sheet is a good design. The bed sheet is a good one, right? Okay. Okay. So what about you, Nimita? The curtain. Curtain? Is it good? Yeah. Okay, you love it. Okay. And it's fine. Yes. So what about you, Lakshmi? It's completely blank so that I can't <laughs> pick out anything from it. So just look 
around you look at yourself some wallpaper wallpaper no wall hanging wall hanging is there what is it can you show me <laughs> Okay, she went searching for it. I guess. What is it, Lakshmi? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good. I guess you made it, Lakshmi. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay, good, good one. So, what about you, Devi Krishna? these cupboards and all cupboards and all okay yes basma nothing so as a designer as a design student one of the important things that you need is observation you need to observe everything you need to observe everything you need to observe everything okay, so one if if one person asks where is that thing you might get to see that i might, i i have seen this somewhere right i have seen the somewhere it was there then at that time when i met that person so in one of those stories i guess it's arjun and uh, I, i don't clearly remember that he says that you should only concentrate at that bird who is sitting on that tree branch right so you should only concentrate on that but for a designer it is not like that you should concentrate on that tree the leaf the veins of that leaf the shape of that leaf possible everything even the root the soil the color shades in the soil <laughs> you should observe everything each and every single day a new color is being found you know that we just know yellow pink red blue green black white right apart from that if you if you if you want to select a color for uh, your house for your wall for your room then we will get a palette whether it is asian paints whether it is some other thing they will give a palette and from that you will get to see pantone number 1053 1135 just like that you will get to see a lot of varieties of blue green yellow off white brown just like that a lot of colors are being found to each and every single day even if we uh, if you just take a pinch of uh, soil in your hand you will get to see a lot of shades of browns in it so like that observe so what all things around you are natural designs you are a natural design right <laughs> right no one expected you to be like this you to be looking like this right it's just came out like that <laughs> right <laughs> so it's a natural design only <laughs> you you yourself is a natural design me myself is a natural design right I don't know whether it is a good design or bad design, but I love myself. I love the design. <laughs> okay, I love the way I am. Okay. Yes, the trees, the birds, the sky. Everything is a natural design. The corals, the fish, the animals, everything is a natural design. What about man-made design? Your house. the chair you are sitting on the cupboard beside devi krishna the blind behind agna hmm the wall hanging that lakshmi made the bed beside sanjana 
the bed sheet she loves it's a man made product okay the mickey mouse that gaia drew behind her right and the tree behind adra and that huge window i guess behind mimita and that all these are man made design and the crows and this is wearing right now it's a man made design the column beside her is a man made design the book you are holding the pen you are using when the headphone earphone whatever it is the mobile phone you are using have you ever thought like after using an application or app one mobile phone it would have been better if it was like this have you ever came to think like that so that is a design a designer thought in such a way and after a lot of research surveys and all it said it will look good it is unique it's creative so yes let's just make it hmm so uh, an application a software a, a, an app a mobile phone everything is a design the page that you first get to see when you open an app in your mobile phone that is a design a designer decides what you should see when you first switch on your mobile phone your laptop your desktop whatever it is your tablet whatever it is and this is just that he or she just came to think that yes this will look good this is a good design is it just because of that thing she or he made it uh, decided to create that no there is a lot of uh, things like uh, anthropology ethnography um, ethnographic research and all to make sure that by sitting on a chair if you are sitting on a chair you should you should feel comfortable your back shouldn't ache there shouldn't be any back pain or anything you should sing, sit comfortably it should accommodate your bum right shouldn't be too small for you <laughs> okay so it should be big enough yes and it shouldn't hurt you it should be comfortable enough so all these things after considering all these factors uh, factors like it shouldn't hurt you it shouldn't um, be a, create any defect on your poster body posters and all after considering a lot of factors like that a chair design is being is made hmm so a lot of things are considered when you design okay so yes so what is design all about what is design all about what is a design is it just about aesthetics how it appears is it just about aesthetics no it's about purpose use functionality it's about how this particular design fulfills the use and requirements of its customers design is all about that creativity yes it's needed right yes it's needed but over creativity can lead to blunders am i right so if you just concentrate on creating something creative and unique you might end up with something very useless very means pretty much useless pretty 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 much useless that's how i will say it. so you should understand your user to whom you are designing for if i'm designing something for agna i should understand what she wants what she likes what will suit her right what will suit her what is her necessity whether uh, she wants to attend a marriage or is she just going out to chill with her friends 
what if she wants to go out with her friends and she just came and asked uh, asked me to design something for her to wear mm -hmm. what if i designed a lehenga for her to just go out with her friends and watch movie it's a useless design why should i design a lehenga for her to just go and chill out in some mall right so it's a wonderful design but it's useful useless in this case right she just want a casual a very comfortable outfit at the same time which looks unique and stunning right yes yes so you should understand the user to whom you are designing for you shouldn't make something just because you loved it you liked it yes i'm finding it really interesting i really like this design so i'm going to make it you sh you should never think like that you should understand your user to whom you are designing it for and all okay so around us just like we categorized uh, fibers textiles dyes prints and all different types of designs are there right man made designs are there natural designs are there which are pretty much wonderful than man made designs right we will never get to find why which one egg or hen right it's a very difficult question which was made first right so it's, it's a complicated question so each and every design is born from a question like that so in, during industrial revolution a lot of uh, instead of hand loom machine looms power loom started people started to use power loom instead of hand sewing sewing machine was introduced hmm? and to weave intricate intricate complex patterns jacquard loom was introduced for cleaning these cottons and fibers ginning machine was introduced during industrial revolution hmm? so these all are designs only the calculation everything was perfect but what if the design is a failure then it will not work properly right instead of keeping the pedal in the bottom what if you keep the pedal above it will be really difficult to manage the fabric and the pedal right with two hands it's really difficult otherwise you should bring your leg up <laughs> yes so the design is really important everything was fine what if the design is a fa failure a designer will decide what material you should use you have a mobile phone in her, in your hand it's it should be of comfortable size right what if it is of a size of a tablet your mobile phone it's really uncomfortable it's not good to carry right so the size matters so a designer will conduct a research and he or she will find out which size is more comfortable or preferred by most of these people in, in this market hmm? so the size will be decided on that based on that and what about the material that we use so i always wanted a phone which will not break if it falls because it always falls from my hand my me and phone it never get along i always forget these thing and my friends used to take my phones because i always forgets i i will not remember where i kept my phone not only phone whatever it is i don't i will not remember but especially phone once i was traveling to delhi and i and i was sitting outside this edmbashiri airport and i just kept it there and i forgot about it and when i was checking in i suddenly remembered my phone is not with me <laughs> then i went to the guards and then i got it back fortunately i got it back otherwise phone once i lost once i went to attend a fashion show at jipma so after uh, doing the makeup and everything we went uh, we went for the fashion show so our charge all of our phones were on charge okay it, it was near a window and when we came back it was in there only the charges were there so everything gone anyway it was not 
Fortunately, it was not me who forgot that font there. I was just touching my font there. So I got, so that's, so, so I always wanted something which doesn't break. And I always wanted uh, to find my phone <laughs> easily, right? So you want, and when it comes to phone, it shouldn't be slippery, right? It should, you should be able to grip it properly, right? It shouldn't be that slippery. So the material matters, the screen matters, the software, what thing you first get to see matters, everything matters. Am I right or not? So everything. It's, it's a designer's job. Okay. The specs you are wearing. Agna, what if the nose bridge, that thing, that there is a thing, right? Besides, so what if it is too tight? You will, it will be very suffocating, right? Yes. So it should be properly placed, properly distanced, proper material and all. Hmm? So yes, design really matters. So yes, I was thinking of completing the elements of design uh, heading <laughs> entirely today, but I haven't completed even the first topic, right? Yes. Okay, so it's time for us to wind up today's session, I guess. Yep. No, we do have seven more minutes. Yes. The best way to predict the future is to create it. What I believe personally is that a good design, a powerful design beholds the power to change the future, right? A good design, a perfect one, a wonderful one, beholds the power to change the world. It really does. So the picture that you are seeing right here on the left hand side of this slide, what is it? Coconut. <laughs> yes, it is coconut. <laughs> I want to know what is it? It's, it's not just coconut. Is it a bird? No. It's a beautifully executed, a beautifully designed packaging using coconut shells. It's a package, a sustainable package. Is it bad for the environment? Is it bad? Like no. the plastic bags and all? Is it? No. No, no right. It's something which is part of our environment only. It's part of our nature. Right. It's not a bad thing. So it's a coconut packaging. So once I went uh, for shopping, grocery shopping in Bangalore, okay, and I was doing my PG, I went for grocery shopping, then I came across this wonderful packaging design. So I was really curious. I was really curious. You know, I'm a curious type. I was really curious when I saw this. I was just wandering, wandering around the grocery shop thinking what I should buy. Should I buy this? Should I buy that? I was thinking, I was wandering, thinking like these things. And then I came across this wonderful packaging. It's grated coconut inside it. So grated coconut is packaged inside coconut shell itself. It comes with a package itself, right? Coconut comes with the package itself. Then why should they just take it out of those uh, thing and pack it inside a plastic bag? A brilliant idea. I really, I really loved it. A brilliant one. Right, coconut was there before also it was there, right? But no one thought about it. So a great yes to that person. Respect. 
whoever thought about it, right? To pack greater coconut inside coconut shells. And another thing was similar to this only, tender coconut. Tender coconut was also packed like this. It was also just a similar thing, but two different, right? So a good design, am I right? It's a sustainable one. No harm, nothing. Beautifully executed design process. So design, it's really simple thing. Design is really simple concept, but to come up with a design which is, effect, which is effective, which is beautiful, which is really useful, that's, that's where all the struggle is, right? The design, just look at those coconut shell. Simple, simply coconut shell it is. But God knows how that person came to think about this, right? Yes. That is a beautiful design. Yes. So design is a process of imagining, planning and executing. Creativity and originality do matter, but not at the exp expense of good design. Okay, a good design. First, you should concentrate on good design. First, you should concentrate on coming up with something that is useful, not something creative. Creative and originality and everything comes second and third. First thing is good design. You should do, you should come up with a good design. A good design respects the need and requirement of its customer, as I said before. So the design process. First, each and every design is a solution. It's an answer to a problem. It's a for a question. Okay. First, we will get a question and the design is a solution or answer for it. So first, define the problem. Collect information about it. That is research. After research, we will do brainstorming, mind mapping and everything. Mind mapping ideas and develop solutions or models that is prototyping. And after that, we will get feedback. We will conduct surveys. And based on that, we will improve. If improvement is required, we will improve the designs and then the final product will be launched. And inside each and every single, there are six stages mentioned here. And inside these six stages, 100 different things will happen. Okay. So that is design process. So how is this, guys? You can see a cute mug here, right? A coffee cup. You can see, maybe? How is it? Beautiful. Cute, right? Right, it's a cute design. Yes, it's a cute one. I'm going to show you another thing now. Okay? That's a cute design. How is it? It's the same cup. It's the same coffee cup. So how is it? Wonderful design, right? Now it's useless. Yes, it's completely useless. It's a blunder. It's a bad design. Am I right? Yes, it is. It's a failure. If that sheep head, the neck part was on that handle instead of in that front part, it would have been much better. But still, it's not that. They should have used it in some other way, maybe that concept. Right? So it's good for show purpose. It's good to Keep it there on your showcase or whatever it is. It is good. Okay, it's look good. It look good. But is it good to drink a cup of coffee? Or not? No. 
not price of my eyes, right? right? Yes. So it's a bad design, a blunder, but a creative one, right? So no need of being over creative. First, the product should be useful. It should fulfill the requirements of its user. First, you should concentrate on purpose, use, how it will come out in the end. So that's what you should concentrate on. Okay, I have a lot to... Yes, I will just... Another cute packaging I came across is this one, the one in the middle. How is it? It's a peanut packaging. Okay, I will share it once more. How is it? It's cute, right? It's useful, it's attractive, it's a wonderful package, right? It's good, it's a good design. Yes, we know squirrels love peanuts, nuts, like, right? So it, it's a wonderfully execu executed, cute, creative design. So yes, it's a yes. So I came across this in Vogue products. Hmm? Vogue products, so it's beautiful. Another design that is there in the slide is the first one, a milk container. Hmm? A milk container, I would call it a good design. Okay, I would call it a good design. I will share it once more. Why I would call it a good design? The milk, milk containers that we buy, normally buy from the store, okay? That we normally buy from the store. Once we break the package, what, whether it is whipping cream, whether it is fresh cream, whether it is milk, once the package is broken, we can't seal it again, right? Once we break the uh, sealing, we can't just seal it back. It will just remain open for the rest of the life. Am I right? So, but this one, we can open it, close it, sustainable, it's just like a water bottle, a throwable water bottle, right? And the other one is a pasta spaghetti one. So it clearly shows one, there is one opening and there is another opening. It lets you use the right amount of pasta. The first one is for, if you are just cooking for one person, you can just use that small hole, small opening. If you want to cook for two person, there is another one, right? So that is the right amount you should use for cooking for one person and two person. Anyway, it, the difference was just two holes, right? But the use is really good. So that's a really good design. So yes, I guess let's conclude the session with this. Yes, I hope you all enjoy. I want you to find some examples when you come for the next class, okay? If you could. Okay, so bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am.